Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Fantastic and welcome to the Best of 17 series. So um, as you can see on the picture here, um, on the left is myself in the JFW universe, on the right is Sol and uh, we are playing a Best of 17 series with each other. Um, so yeah, here's kind of the basics of it. It's best of 17, we're using the Euro Bowl rules, NAF style, you know, about 1300 TV with like build rules. Um, that you can, when you're building your team, you can choose from a zero pack, one pack or a two pack selection. I thought, you know, we, we decided to only go for the one point packs to kind of make it fairer. There's an argument we should have allowed the two point packs, but you know, it is what it is. This is the first time we're doing it. I, you know, um, it, it is what it is, right? I think it's fine, right? You know, NAF style is the important thing. Um, you know, there's no need for fancy scoring. You know, we'll just we'll just tally the wins. Um, draws won't matter, and the losses won't matter because the opponent will get a win. Um, so yeah, so this is the idea, right? Um, we have the different matchups. Uh, we drew these actually. We, we've drawn like same tiered games, basically, right? Same tiered teams, essentially, and. Uh, We'll play the match one way and then the other way. So we've we've already actually played Undead versus Orcs and Orcs versus Undead. I'll put those videos up today as well. And then Sol wants to practice for Euro Bowl, so we're going to do Dark Elves versus Skaven and Skaven versus Dark Elves um, to, today, I think. Yeah. And then we'll then we'll go through and do the others. Uh, people can vote to see the next team, the next game. But you know that's it. So. You know that's it like you know so dwarves versus lizard men but then it's lizard men versus dwarves the other way and so um so yeah we, we're going to play every every team in blood bowl three uh, at the time when we started it of course since then goblins and halflings have been released but uh i just thought you know best of 17 was a cool number right like and and we don't really want to you know involve stunties to be honest um hopefully we'll repeat this series with other people right like this was just the first one with sol um, but I'd like to, you know, do the same kind of thing with, like, you know, say, Dimmy, Elyard, Tren, you know, like, like, let's get a few of these people in and do best of 17 if they're up for it. So, uh, you know, it's a good bit of practice, all the different races, you know, matchups, team building. There's a lot to it. So, uh, looking forward to, to seeing how this pans out. And uh, I'll, put, I'll put the teams on here. Um, there's a link for this spreadsheet in the description so you can go and, you know, peruse at your leisure all of the teams but um yeah so this uh, go through and i'll just you know show what i took so actually i would take this a bit i would take something a bit different if i was using the packs for undead um but i think you know this is okay right six skills some guard some blocks and wrestle completely reasonable and uh, no tackle though but then it's so we, we we made the teams before we did the draw right so like you know it's um I didn't just select that, you know, knowing that I, there would be no dodge. So, so we we had to make all comers lists, and and honestly, I don't value tackle that much. Um, so, there you go. Uh, guard, I've gone for the seven guard um, team. I'm still not sure about the troll because the problem with the troll is I feel like if you know maybe the two lineman is better, but if you go with the two lineman, then you kind of want to take a mighty blow blitzer, which then means you only get six guard. And then with seven guard plus a like you're still getting a mighty blow with the troll, aren't you? But there's pros and cons to this, but I think seven guard is pretty good. And then uh we've got the dark elves here. This is a bit different from normal what I've done. I've only gone with a three blitzers so that I could have three rerolls. Um I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether that's good or not. But uh it's what I've done and I really like having three rerolls, so We'll see how this goes. Uh, block and wrestle, which elf is completely standard, and then dodge on the runner. Like you know, this could have been an assassin if I didn't if I didn't do my weird thing. But I'm not so sure the assassins are good anyway. So it is what it is. Uh, and then Skaven. So yeah. So also oh, these are in order for the play, right? So first up was Undead versus Orcs, and we've got Dark Elves versus Skaven. Um, this is nearly exactly what. Um, K Fog took for Super League, right? Except he got the extra pack, so he got an extra skill for free and chose Strip Ball. But I, I like this, I like the Double Guard Blitzer, I like the Juggernaut, of course. I mean, everyone's got to take the Juggernaut block, Wrestle Size Step Leader, right? That's all pretty standard. 
Uh, I'm at 13 players, I put on only two rerolls. Um, and then the next matchup is Underworld versus Humans. So this is my standard Underworld team. We've got a Mighty Blow Blitzer. We've got Sidestep and Two Heads for the Gutter Runner. And we've got extra arms in the thrower. So basically all in on the one turn. Um, a few Snotlings for fills for the one turn. And, you know, for like randomly if you have to fill them. But a lot more goblins than you, you would, you know... In the old days, you would have lots of snotlings for swarming. Now it's just a few snotlings for one turning and stuff, and uh, and then the troll, because you know he's better than the rat ogre for rerolls. Um, and this is my human team here. We've got a block ogre, four guards, a block throw and a block catcher. I honestly, I'd really like the the guard ogre as well. But then that would mean like having a guard catcher or something. I don't know. I just didn't feel like the other things were that good. Uh, 13 players, but one's a halfling isn't great. But again, 13 players is a lot. Four rerolls is great. So you know, I'm not saying these are the best teams you can make or anything, but it's it's pretty much what I what I liked. Uh, maybe maybe you know maybe the best. All right. So here we go. Dwarves six guard. I just don't think you can afford to take less than six guard. Yeah, it sucks not having a tackle mighty blower. It sucks not having a block runner. But the fact that the other teams get so many skills, I just feel like dwarves are forced into taking six guard. They can take four rerolls to make things happen, but um, yeah, it's, it's not a great rule set for dwarves, I would say. And they are up against lizard men, which is their worst possible matchup, so it's going to be really bad for the uh, dwarves. And I went with the 11 players with uh, three rerolls rather than 12 and two rerolls. I think either are viable. I think six block is essential. Next up, we've got Nurgle. Um, I really didn't know what to do for this. Uh, you know, now we're getting to the sort of teams that I just wouldn't use, okay? So um, <laughs> I would never use this team in Euroball. Um, taking some guards, some block, a stack. I, I You know, I just... I, clueless answers in a postcard of how to build Nurgle. Uh, three rerolls, yeah. They're up against Black Orcs. Now, Black Orcs, unfortunately... While we're mostly like Euroball, we can't have inducements due to the limitations of the Blood Bowl 3 client. So normally they would get a bribe or two, right? Um, and this is crazy. I took the 30, dropping a skill to get 30k extra cash, but the limit is 1200. So I, I basically dropped a skill for 10k so that I could have 14 players plus an Apo and three rerolls. So I can get a lot of fouling in with 14 players or, you know, absorb casualties. Went for a block troll to be the reliable blitter of return with mighty blow and a couple of other blocks and four guards i think the mix of block and guard is you know completely up to the individual and i'm no idea what's best but uh i would have probably had a bribe if if this was you know had total freedom there um right chaos chosen now this um <laughs> Uh, again, like I'm just really not sure, right? Um, a claw roger, so you've got claw mighty blow. Why not? Couple of block, couple of guard, wrestle, guard, guard. I mean, I just don't know what to take. It, it's just so tough. It's just literally so tough. Maybe I could have dropped a guard to have two block guard blockers, but again, I just wouldn't use this team, so I was grasping at straws. <laughs> they're playing against Imperial Nobility, which actually I don't see, feel looks so bad. You know, the six guard is a lot. Leader to get to three rerolls and dodge blitzers. I think this is the best Imperial Nobility roster that I've seen. Um, you know, we've, we've seen a few rosters made for Super League, but I, I quite really quite like this one. So, yeah, happy with that team. Elves are another team that I would not take. <laughs> But uh, I took some dodgers and some wrestlers and some rerolls. Seems all right, doesn't it? Like not as good as wood elves, but it's an elf team, and they're playing necromantic, which are like an actually a great team in this format, right? Uh, this is the standard necro that everybody takes. Just give up their eighth skill for extra money, so they get to start with a you know f full complement of positionals. Four guard, two block. And then a block girl, three rerolls. It makes great use of their tiering, of how much money they get and stuff. Pretty great team for Euro Bowl, I would say, Necromantic. So it's going to be rough for the elves, unless it's a dicing, I guess. Um, 
Old World Alliance here. Yeah. Again, I struggled with this one, right? I, I decided to go with a lot of guard, plus a dirty player sneaky git. Um, seems all right, you know? Like, you can foul a bit. Like, the sneaky git dirty player can, can just win some matches on its own, and then guard is good. Um, that's about the extent of my thought with that team. <laughs> um, okay, so Renegades. Again, Renegades another team that I'm really not sure what I should be doing with this team. Um, went with a block guard ogre because he's the best big guy. A guard trolls because he just, you know, stays and doesn't activate and guards things. The Minotaur is you, the one that you're going to have to be activating to get hits in with. So might as well give him block to make him more reliable. Um, and then obviously Blodge on the Dark Elf makes the Dark Elf amazing and can win some games on his own. Goblins of the Troll or the Ogre can throw him if you have to. I, I actually don't hate this that much, but I don't think it's really a good... You know, I don't think it's very good, but I think as far as Renegades go, I think it's somewhat acceptable. And then um, if we have to... So, oh, so the, the Renegades are playing the All World Alliance. And then the 17th one, obviously with an odd number of team, we have to have a mirror. And it ended up, it ended up that the mirror is Wood Elves. And uh, I've gone for the, the kind of standard one, right? The tackle and the strip. And then two block, two, uh, sorry, two wrestle, two dodge. And giving up the skill for the extra money for the third rostered reroll. In Super League, we saw uh, Strider going for sidestep over tackle. And we saw Misspell Tree going frenzy over tackle. It's interesting. I don't think there's a clear winner in these three choices, but you know, I, I went with tackle as kind of the standard one, um, which, funnily enough, works quite out quite well for the mirror, I guess. But again, we we, we made all of these teams um, in secret before and before finding out the matchups. Um, Souls teams, obviously, I'm going to think are all worse, right? Because I chose all of my teams for a reason. Um, also, if you're only used to Blood Bowl 3, this will be a bit of a hard going because he's used the Blood Bowl 2 icons, which I love personally, but you know, people aren't going to recognize them as readily, maybe, um, if they're used to Blood Bowl 3. But yeah, he's gone 3 guard, a couple of block, a tackle, and a sure hands um, for his orcs. His undead, guard mummies, block wrestle, ghouls, tackle mighty whites. The Skaven, this is the team that he's actually taken to Euro Bowl and the main focus of his training for the next few days are Tackle, Blitzer, Juggernaut, Roger, Wrestle Stripper, so he's paid for the stack, a Block Gutter and a Leader Thrower. He hasn't gone for the Apothecary to get four rerolls total with the Leader. So that's what, that's what he's using at Euro Bowl and... Uh, you know, it's. I think I think the eight skills is better, but with Euroball being a team event, you you're not guaranteed to be able to get, you know, uh, packages at all, right? Never mind. So he's he's got a one point package. I think Skaven are better with a two point package, but then there is the whole team dynamic to consider. Um, but yeah, you know, like I, I don't hate it. It's it's fine, um, and you know, Sol is the number one ranked player in America, and. Uh, They'll be playing the Dark Elves, block and wrestle. He's gone two dodge and a tackle for the Blitzers, and then a leader to get the third reroll. The problem with the leader runner is you often end up using that reroll to dodge with him. So that's why, you know, K Fog, who is the number one, tends to go with a dodge runner if he takes it. And uh, no Apple, so yeah, 12th player. 12th player versus Apple's got pros and cons. Um, so there you go. Right, humans, three guard, tackle. Block, block ogre, leader thrower. Okay, leader thrower, but he's he's got three. Oh, it's because I had the halfling. That's why he uh, he hasn't got that, and he's got more catches and stuff. But um, yeah, like Sol likes tackle. You know, you can see Sol's got a lot of tackle here. That might that might do him well in this match. Certainly. Oh yeah, he's got a tackler versus the underworld here. Leader thrower, two heads gutter, and he stacked a claw mighty blitzer. Juggernaut Roger, only two snotlings for him, only three rerolls for him. But yeah, he's gone the Rat Ogre. I hate the Rat Ogre. Um, we'll see how that works out. And uh, oh my god, he really likes tackle. <laughs> he's taken a tackle Saurus, and he's also gone for the twelve, the the sorry eleven men plus Apple 
rather and th sorry, eleven men plus three re three rerolls rather than twelve plus two rerolls. Yeah, everyone always takes the apple. Sorry, that was a disaster, but uh, we know we don't have we don't have a chance for retakes here. <laughs> um, this is his dwarf team. Only four guard, a mighty blow slayer, and a block runner. Like this is you know this is what I'd like to do. You know something like this. Maybe, maybe not a slayer, but certainly a mighty blow, a block, and guard. But the problem is they've got so few skills. I feel like it doesn't work out great for them. And he's also had to give up a reroll to get that slayer. Uh, black orcs, yeah. Plus bribe. You know, like you really want the bribe here. He's taken three block, three guards. I want two block, four guards. Um, he's taken block and his troll. He doesn't have the apple as well, um, and he's taken a double distinct dirty player on his lineman. So yeah, I, I, I kind of like that I've, the, my, of course I like, I, sh I shouldn't say that, of course I like my teams more, otherwise I wouldn't have made them, right? Like, <laughs> like obviously I'm not just choosing something bad on purpose. Oh yeah, he's gonna block, a block rot spawn, um, block guard, claw mighty pestigore. Yeah, I, you know, it might be better, it might be better, who knows. Nurgle are a bit rubbish, and his Imperial ability here, he's gone four guard, block ogre, um, dodge and sure hands, blitzer and another dodge blitzer. Um, oh, chaos. Oh, I actually quite like the double stack. The problem is it's just costing you in other areas, isn't it? Oh, three stacks? Does chaos get three stacks? Okay, well, yeah, that's something, isn't it? Not many skills at all on the team, but Claw Mighty can remove players, a block Ogre can remove players. Yep, that's that's Chaos. And uh, his Necro, he's not gone standard. Oh wow, this is very strange. Okay, so he's got the same roster, but he's gone Wrestle on the Ghoul rather than a Naked Ghoul and Block on the Wolf, so... Yeah, switching the skill from the wolf to the ghoul, I'm not a fan of. I really like block wolves. You want to hit with the wolves as much as possible, right? And then he's gone block fleshies rather than guard fleshies, well, which will actually work, and guard on the race, which will work quite well in the matchup, which was versus the pro elves here. Um, he's stacked tackle and stacked a blodge. Um, we've gone for the same roster, of course, to fit in the rerolls and stuff, but 12 players apo. But, um, yep, that's, that's what he's gone with. And then Renegades. We've got Block Ogre, Block Troll, Juggernaut Rat Ogre. He loves Rat Ogres. Block Dodge, uh, Dark Elf. 13 players with a Goblin. Three rerolls. So, yeah, I mean, probably the same roster, right? Um, except he's gone the Rat Ogre, except the uh, Rat Ogre instead of the Minotaur. I prefer the Minotaur. And they're playing Old World Alliance. He's gone, what, a guard, a wrestle lineman, block catcher, block ogre, tackle blitzer. Is that a sprint halfling? Oh my, this is wild. It, a mighty blow, troll slayer, leader thrower, block runner. So he's gone, he's gone complete, you know, lots of different skills there, completely unlike my guard spam team of Old World. So that'll be interesting. See how that works. And then for the Wood Elf Mirror, um, he has gone Strip Tackle, Leader Thrower, Block and Wrestle Catchers, and only one dodge on the lineman. So he's definitely gone more, more catchery, you know, stacking skills and catchers rather than spreading them out on wood on linos. Um, interesting. Only two rerolls, but he's got the th leader, so he's kind of got three rerolls as well. Oh, he's got twelve players. Plus the apple, he's got no tree. Oh my goodness! Well, didn't the didn't that work out well for him in the mirror? I had I had no idea he hadn't, he hadn't taken a tree. I'll be honest, I didn't check his rosters. I just assumed he'd uh, you know he'd he'd do them uh, perfectly, and in terms of following the rules. So so because of that, I didn't check them, and uh, I didn't really looked at them. And yeah, okay, so he's got no trees. That works out great for him in the mirror, certainly. So there you go. That's all the teams. There's all the matchups. And the rules and stuff and you know yeah as i say i think this is a cool idea you know like kind of practice should be interesting games high quality blood ball souls very good number one in the usa and you know looking for practice i'm looking for practice i i found out like 
that that chess players have like massive series of best ofs and I thought well you know why why not try that in Blood Bowl if I can find anybody mad enough to do it with me uh, and Sol has stepped up so thank you very much Sol I'm very much looking forward to seeing how this pans out and yeah of course all the matches will be up on YouTube um, starting I'll can put up the first few today so um, yep thanks for watching everybody don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic <laughs>